you're not going to believe this. I'm speechless. I'm in shock. I just watched a press conference with the governor of Washington, Governor Jay Inslee. And what he says is that if you don't comply with the COVID-19 testing and the COVID-19 tracer program, you're not allowed out of your house. You're not allowed to go to work. You're not allowed to go pick up your kids. You're not allowed to go to school. You're not even allowed to go to the grocery store. If you refuse a COVID-19 test on your doorstep, you're not to leave your house or they're gonna arrest you. And I will read you a direct quote from today's press conference. Timestamp 3855. In the video of the press conference below, one reporter asked, when it comes to contact tracing, how are you guys going to handle people or families who want to refuse the test and refuse to self-isolate? If they want to leave their home to get groceries, I know you've said they can't do that. How will you make sure that they don't? We will have attached to the families a family support person who will check in with them to see what they need on a daily basis and help them. If they can't get a friend to do their grocery shopping, we will help them get groceries in some fashion. If they need pharmaceuticals to be picked up, we will make sure they get their pharmaceuticals. That's going to help encourage them to maintain their isolation also. As far as refusal, it shouldn't come to that, and it really hasn't. We've had really good success when we ask people to isolate and they've done so in really high percentages. So we're happy about that and we believe that will continue. Well, guess what? If you refuse their test and then you get caught leaving your house, you're going to jail. Now, I've listened to the whole press conference. I'm going to link it in the description below. They also talk about a uh, what program are they going to come up with to ensure that as restaurants open, infected people aren't coming in? The governor says they're going to be working with restaurants to maybe check ID and have some type of list uh, to make sure that infected people don't spread the virus. Ladies and gentlemen, the mortality rate of COVID-19 is less than 1%. It's less than the annual flu. Wake up! This is all BS. It's all fake. I don't even know how to react to it. I'm speechless that every American hasn't realized it yet. I'm speechless that anybody's willing to quarantine and self-isolate for a fake pandemic. I'm, I'm literally in shock. I can't believe it. I, I can't believe it. I never thought that America could be this ignorant. I'm in shock. You guys need to do your part. You need to share these videos. Every single person you come in contact with, you need to wake up. Anytime you see anyone wearing a mask, you need to, you need to nudge them on the shoulder and say, hey, you know the mortality rate's less than 1%. This is a government pandemic to take away our rights. You know that, right? You look like a fool wearing that mask. You guys, Washington is now forcing people to stay in their home if they refuse a COVID-19 test through the tracing program. Every state is going to do this. Now, I got a crazy email today. Someone sent me a link, I haven't had time to research it yet, that possibly the second wave that they're all talking about is coming, possibly it's gonna be real. And it's gonna be due to the COVID-19 tests. That supposedly all the people who've got tested have actually been infected. And they're going to be wave two and it's gonna be real. Now, I don't know, that's just a theory. I haven't looked at any of the information yet, but I'm going to. But for right now, it's time to stand up. I'm not taking a test. I'm not getting a vaccine. And I'm not quarantining or isolating anywhere. Do you understand? I will go to prison before I willingly take a test, get a vaccine, or self-isolate. 
And if you don't have that mentality, you might not deserve to be free. Do you understand? Do not let these evil people take away what little freedom you still have left. The mortality rate is less than 1%. It's fake. It's been blown out of proportion to control you and me and our children and our grandchildren. Washington State, where are you at? Stand up and refuse. Refuse. John X Army, signing out from the belly of the beast.